Hello, I'm Randy here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Chippewa County here. And at least for starters here this episode, we're going to be making a uh, course play course here to handle plowing up this... Oh, wrong button. Uh, to handle plowing up this section of the map here. Uh, this is going to be similar to what I did on Autumn Oaks. And for those of you who have never done this before, uh, what I'm going to do is create a field boundary that goes all the way around these fields here. Yes, everyone is going to be highly inefficient because you got all this dead space in between. Well, technically it's, you know, grass, hay fields, right? But to make the course play course efficient, everyone, it's just going to be one course play course. So, uh, last episode, everyone, I started the uh, 4440 here on plow in this field. It did not make it very far. It made it to basically what you can see in the distance there. And I, I don't know why, everyone, it just stopped dead right there. Uh, even I tried to move it, and I could not get it to move. So, I don't know if it got stuck on some invisible object over there, everyone. Something went wrong. I, I don't know. Don't know. So... Yeah, we, we did not make it very far in plow in this field here last episode. So anyway, let's uh, get started here. Uh, we're going to start course recording here. So if you've never done this before, you just pop open course play here. doesn't matter what mode you're in. We're just going to create a course play course, and we're going to drive around the uh, field boundary, i.e. the uh, area that we want course play to be contained within. And hopefully you folks are enjoying the uh, Chippewa County series here so far. I mean, it's only episode two here this time around. Uh... And yes, again, if folks have any uh, suggestions, content you'd like to see here for the Chippewa County series, throw them down in the comments down below. We'll see once if we can uh, make it happen there or not. Of course, uh, Course Play is going to think all these uh, fields are separate, everyone, so that's why I'm creating a my own custom field boundary. That's, that's essentially what we're doing here at this point. Now, this is a fairly good sized uh, field here, or will be once we're done with this. Oh, hopefully it's not too close to that fence there. Eh, it'd be a little annoying if it is. I guess we'll find out. Uh, of course, by the way, if you didn't uh, see episode one there, everyone, we are playing with the Seasons mod. So Seasons mod is active, and we are using the uh, Midwest Geo. Yeah, it's going to be a little close to the fence. And, okay, we're going to have to just stay a little ways away. Oh, well. I'll see if maybe I can, like, terrain paint over that just to get it away from the fence. Be interesting to see what course play comes up with a core or with the with for a course for this field because wow that's gonna be quite the quite the field. Some of this I'm thinking too maybe we should just like plow it together here as well because like this section here really do we need this to be a separate field here let's just plow some lines in between it and yeah, we'll see once we'll see once. Technically, we could uh, turn allow create field on and just have course play make the entire thing into a field. I don't know if I'll do that or not, but I do want to kind of keep the uh, keep the fields the way they are, at least on this side of the map. I am thinking, though, for where we were plowing the last episode ourselves, everyone, I might uh, plow that into one field. So up along the top of the map there, that might become one field. We'll see once. There's a nice, large, uh, grassy area. Uh, we are playing on version 1.1 of the map here, by the way. I did go back and uh, double-check that to see what version we're playing on. Uh, best I can tell everyone, that is the most recent version of the map. Uh, a couple of you folks did leave some comments, though. Uh, check, Go check. Uh, well, I'll have to read the comments here. I forget which file it was again. Uh, it's the file that handles loading in uh, like cell points and stuff like that into the map. So I'll have to check that file, see if there's anything going on there. And what I should probably do, everyone, too, is just pull it into a separate mod folder just to see if there's any error messages. Uh, it wouldn't uh, surprise me here. I mean, if we pull that up, uh, yeah, nothing particularly interesting there. Air concrete cube doesn't have all required vertex attributes. Okay. Interesting. Yep, I'm sure there's going to be lots and lots of error messages. Not necessarily from the map, because i got lots of mods that uh, have plenty of error messages as well.
Yeah, like this field here too, I, mean, I think we could probably just like plow that together a little bit just to make that a little bit nicer. Uh, do we really need to have that grass strip in between there? I suppose it's meant to be like a waterway type thing. That's probably the idea behind it. Thinking everyone, maybe I should uh, get another uh, chisel plow and tractor on this side of the map because wow, this uh, this is going to take a while here for one tractor, isn't it? And this is not a very big chisel plow on the back of this tractor. Uh, well, someone did leave a suggestion there. Uh, well, first off, a couple people said I need to get some more red tractors. I, I totally disagree with that. I, th I think we got enough red tractors right now. Uh, you know, if we want to get some farm work done, everyone, we need to get green tractors, right? Uh, someone did say, though, I should maybe get like a 4640. I think that would be a good uh, fit for the series here so far, so I might look into that. Also, I do want to switch out our mixing, our forage mixing wagon here. We got a new uh, mod there from the uh, Busters uh, community. Definitely want to check that mod out here. Unfortunately, I'm not really in a position to try it out on this map, everyone. I did try it out on my Autumn Oak series there because you know, I've got everything set up for feeding animals on that series, and it does work over there. So I can uh, definitely confirm it does work. Is this, uh, where do we got to stop here? No, we need to keep going, don't we? Okay. Goes all the way up to the road, it looks like. Yeah, like I said, everyone, this is going to be a big field area. Uh, again, emphasis here. Most of it is, you know, just like grassy areas between the field, but still. Quite a bit of field here. And we'll see once everyone. I might just go ahead and uh, purchase another uh, chisel plow. Maybe we'll get that 4640. And we can, uh, yeah, set two tractors on this job because that might just be needed. Or maybe I should uh, get another one of the uh, case or just another disc of some sorts here on this side. Okay, we're almost back to the start point, I do believe. Yeah, there it is there. There it is. Okay, don't screw it up now. We're almost to the end. Almost. Okay, there we go. Call that good. Put a stop point there. Uh, again, these points don't need to line up exactly precisely. That's good enough. Okay, let's see once here. What shall I call this? We'll call this uh, Farm 2 Field 1. How about that? Farm 2 Field 1. That seems good to me. Because this is kind of like a second farm here on this side of the road. This would be probably like a really good multiplayer map here, everyone. At least from what I'm seeing anyway. Because uh, you got like, uh, what it, it looks like four different farms on this uh, map here. You got kind of the farm in the upper corner here. Actually, if we go to what we own. So, again, uh, if you didn't watch last episode there, uh, we currently own. Uh, which is, essentially, I think this is a farm over here. And then we own another farm down here. And then, I don't know what these extra, if that kind of goes with this farm. I'm not entirely sure what the idea behind that is. But, yeah, like I said, it looks like there's another farm here. And then looks like there's another farm across the road here as well. And I'm not sure about this piece, but, yeah. Fields on this, uh, or sections of this map are very expensive, by the way, I've noticed. So, yeah. Anyway, course generation. Currently loaded course. Yep, that'll be good. Let's do, how about four, four headlands. That'll probably be good. Let's do two tools, 5.1 meters. No, two. What? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I said jump into that. Five meters. Yeah, we'll bump that down just point one. Okay, two tools, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that should be good. Generate course. Let's see what we end up with here. Again, this is a fairly big size course, so. Taking a moment to generate. Oh, okay, there we go. Not too bad, I guess. And then we'll uh, save that as... Oh, come on now. Arm two. Field one. Is that going to make sense? Let me call it actually Farm 2 Field 1. There we go. Uh, 5 meter times 2 plow. Wow, quite the name. <laughs> quite the name going on there. 
Okay, course play course goes that way. Let's uh, set you two. One to the right. Uh, I think we're going to want one to the left, right? Because, yeah, we want you on the left. We want you starting on the outside of the course there. Okay, and then first waypoint. Drive course. Huh. Interesting. Puts the chisel plow down and he can't move. Well, everyone, I... Yeah, same problem we're having uh, further down the field. That's interesting. I said stop. There we go. Tractor should be more than be able to pull this up. Chisel plow, I would think. I mean, come on now. I think the uh, 20 and 30 series pulls it. Okay, I might have to get a different tractor. What else do I have for tractor? Unless, does this chisel plow pull harder than the other one? Because that's right, there's two different uh, chisel plows here. Plows. Normally, I use this one here just because it's a little bit bigger, I think. This is 8 meters as opposed to this one is what? Well, it says it's 3, but apparently it's like 5.1 5 according to course play. Uh, right. Maybe we should just uh, switch out chisel plows because I happen to know this one works pretty good. Why don't we do that? Okay, new plan, everyone. We're going to switch out chisel plows here. Let's uh, run this back up to the shop. We'll grab the other chisel plow. Hopefully this tractor can pull that chisel plow then. Well, that, that one technically is a little bit bigger. and Probably in real life would be a bit of a stretch for this tractor to pull that. Well, yes and no, maybe. Doesn't look like a real heavy chisel plow, so. Okay, well, I'll read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, let's see. Big Dave was saying, anyone know how to fix the lag on the mouse? I get it and noticed RD was getting it. Lag on the mouse. Hmm. Lag on the mouse. You mean like when moving around or... And technically, I'm not really... Well, yeah, okay, looking around here at the moment, everyone, I am using my mouse, but I'm actually using my uh, steering wheel and uh, side panel here mostly, so... Uh, Joe was saying uh, contour farming and seasons, ZZ. Uh, maybe the seasons part there, Joe. I don't know about contour farming. Uh, contour farming, I, I would say, is the more, uh, a lot more work, maybe, shall we put it that way. A lot more work. I don't know that I ever actually found the uh, sell point at the shop here. Unfortunately, it's not marked up in the ground here. There is a uh, sell spot here, but uh, let's not know. We can try dropping this off, see if it'll sell. Somewhere about's in there, probably. And, of course, everyone, we still got some of this. Whoa, that's a deep ditch. Uh, we still got some of this other equipment sitting by the shop here yet as well. I need to uh, find homes for at our farm. Haven't uh, done that here yet, but... Okay, let's see what's here. Oh, cool. Uh, repaint. Oh, that's right, everyone. Yes, I forgot about that. With the new Seasons mod now, uh, your repair and your paint are two different things. Kind of cool. Yeah, we'll just uh, sell that. Goodbye. Oh, God, really? Seriously? I did not pay attention to that, everyone. Oh, my goodness. No, do not sell the tractor. Actually, it does... Aha, that works. Cool. Okay, let me buy that plow back again. Uh -huh, someone sold it. Right. Wasn't paying attention to which plow was selling. It was like, oh, cool, it's actually selling it. No, it wasn't. Okay, there we go. Uh, while we're here as well, actually, you know what? Let me grab this tractor, because I do want this tractor. We are going to grab that mixing wang in here, everyone. 
we're going to shove that into the cell point. And like I said, we got something pretty cool here. I, at least I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure whose idea this was. I, I don't think I can take credit for it. I think someone on the uh, Buster's Facebook page suggested it, if I recall correctly. And then uh, Nolan threw up some uh, concept images there. Uh, one of which was the uh, pecan. I think he put it on the cat truck. And even as long as the frame is on the cat truck, it just looked absolutely ridiculous. Although, actually, you know what? This Anderson mixer might might fix the uh, or fit might fit the cat truck. Although I'm not sure. Being a DLC, I want to probably can't get access to the Anderson uh, files, unfortunately. Uh, nope, there we go. And sell that. Gotta say, gotta love that uh, workshop tabber there, everyone. That really comes in handy. Just, yeah, giants. How come that's not part of the game? I mean, like, really? That should just be, like, built into the game. We should not have to have a mod to be able to select what we want to work on when we pull into the shop. Because yeah, you pull into the shop with a tractor that has a weight on it, and, and undoubtedly, just with the luck of the draw, everyone, it is going to give you the weight, not the tractor. Just, you know, the way Giants is. And then, of course, maybe you do want to customize the weight, everyone. And then by the look of the draw, it's going to give you the tractor instead of the weight. It's going to give you whichever one you don't need or want, right? Anyway, well, let's visit the shop here. Let's go to Buster's Vehicles here. And I didn't forget to activate it, did I? Hope not. I did not. Cool. There we go, everyone. Yes, the Buster's GMC. So uh, Nolan put it on the GMC truck here. Uh, this, by the way, is not out yet. It is currently in testing. And at least uh, myself, anyway, I can confirm it does work on it see any issues with it so uh let's see what's their colors the green and the red looks kind of good i wonder what the green and yellow looks like hmm green and yellow almost a little too much yellow and eh, a little too much green maybe i kind of like that doesn't look too bad I might go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. I kind of like that. And then if we put uh, RDL and then we put a John, yeah, that looks good. That I like that. Yep. Good for me. Uh, no, I don't think I need GPS on it. Uh, I, though I, I could put GPS. Yes, I could put GPS on it. Okay, so yeah, like I said, everyone, unfortunately, I won't be able to use it on this map here for a while yet. So uh, first off, we don't have any cows yet. Uh, second off, we don't have anything to feed the cows yet. So until we get some to feed the cows with everyone, I don't think there's any sense in, uh, uh, yeah buying any cows. I'm not sure with Seasons Mod. At least I know in previous versions with Seasons Mod. Uh, if you didn't feed your animals, everyone, they died. So, you better feed your animals. So, yeah, I'll, I'll wait until we got food there to uh, buy the animals. Again, everyone, I did start the map with animals. I'm not sure if a glitch in the map or a, something with Seasons Mod removed our animals. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll have to find out. What I should probably do, everyone, is just like buy one just to see what's what happens. Because I did have animals purchased at both pens. Because there's a pen on this side of the road here up on the farm. And then there's a pen on over here by these barns as well. So you can have cows on either one. Unfortunately, visually, none of the cows ever showed up. Which is kind of too bad. At least that I've seen. You know, I've never seen any cows visually show up when you bought them. Okay, and I just created that course by course. But uh, guess what? We're going to get rid of it. Right, get rid of it. And we're going to trash can that one too. Uh, let's see what's wrong. I think I need to go on the other side of the house, don't I? Don't think I can get through here. Got through the front yard here. Don't mind me. And then course generation, currently loaded course, headland round, four headland passes, multiple tools, two, seven meters. I thought it said it was eight. Really? And them shop dealers, I'm telling you folks, house is eight meters and it's only seven. Typical dealer. Typical. Oh, come on, I shouldn't, oh, there we go. Shouldn't take too long to generate the course. It is a bigger implement after all. Okay, let's see if you can pull this one now. And let me, uh, shall we see? Yeah, I suppose we can save it. So, farm two, field one, field one. 
And this was seven meter times two plow. There we go. Okay, we're going to spend most of this episode here just getting a course play set up for this, aren't we? Wasn't exactly the intention. I wanted to get some plow myself here, but... Uh, first waypoint drive course. So let's see. Can you pull this one? Or am I going to have to get a different tractor? Nah, you can pull this one. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's, uh... You need to be set, uh... One to the left, preferably, please. Thank you. Okay, then let's get the other tractor here again. Someone suggested a 4640... Ooh, I don't know. Is that under small, medium, or large tractors? I would consider that probably... Hey, 4640. There it is. Cool. That wasn't too bad. I don't know if that's the only 4640 I have or not. Not sure on that. Let's see. They got some Trelleborg 710-70R38s on there. Cool. Notice the front tires, though. Yep. Uh, Giants, unfortunately, again, doesn't really have any uh, proper front tires like that in the game that I know of. So, oh, well. Rear twins, of course. Uh, GPS, sure. That's going to really increase the price of that tractor, isn't it? And, oh, there it is. I was going to say, I thought we had two chisel plows. Sneak through here. And maybe if the dealer doesn't notice uh, us uh, driving across their... Uh, Little area there. Oh, it's just me or the wheels on the front look a little small. Or maybe the wheels on the back are a little big. Not sure. It's just something doesn't quite look right. Is it, is it just me, everyone, or the something not quite right with the wheels? I don't know if I've used this tractor before or not. I think I have. Oh, there we go. Now it's getting going. Interesting uh, sound files on this mod. I think this is the one that actually has like real sounds on it. If I remember correctly. And I'll just quick get this a little bit that the uh, first plow missed there. And let's get the uh, course play course loaded up here. So field two, field, or farm two, field one, seven meter plow. Let's make sure you are set one to the right. You are indeed. Let me just actually set them one to the right. And then come back around here and set you to the first waypoint. So yeah, this is definitely going to take a while to uh, plow this field here, everyone. At this point, I don't think there's really a whole lot we have to plant at this point, so not in any big hurry here. Again, we're day two early spring, so... And again, if you're uh, new to uh, seasons here in Farming Simulator 19, well, stay tuned. Uh... I don't know what I'm talking about either yet with Farming Simulator 19 for Seasons, but uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, I did play with it in Farming Simulator 17, and definitely a very cool mod for Farming Simulator, no doubt about that. So, definitely looking forward to it. Anyway, they should be good. Let's leave them to it, and I'm going to head over. We're going to start doing some plowing ourselves. Let's get the uh, John Deere 4455 fired up here. And like I was mentioning, I'm thinking I'm probably going to plow some of these fields together here. So like this whole group of fields here, if I pull it up on the map, I'm, uh, this like this whole narrow section, I'm thinking I'm going to make this one field. At least that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. You, you folks let me know. You think we should do that? Should we not? What I was thinking I might try to do here, there's a road that runs along here. Maybe if I can, I can paint the road in down along that fence line there. If it'll let me paint it anyway. I'm having some issues with this map, or I've had some issues with the map letting me terraform and paint it in spots. 
Actually, I wonder if that means I won't be able to plow it in spots, too. I wonder. But uh, maybe move the road, like I said, down along that fence line there, just to plow this whole section here into uh, one field. Uh, let's see what's here. Magnus was saying you should do more sugarcane and use more European equipment. Magnus, you got to be kidding. Uh, he also says great videos. Always thank you very much for that. Yeah, sugarcane and European equipment. Uh huh. Uh, let's see, Jim was saying, uh, great video. Thank you very much for that, by the way. And hope you can get everything working correctly on this map. It will be interesting to see how Seasons works with this map, uh, since the map won't allow you to place that uh, building where you wanted it. Uh, I'm wondering if it will allow you to expand the boundaries of these fields. Ah, that, that's a good question there, Jim. I was just actually, I just happened to think of that. Uh, we just mentioned that. It's like, yeah, I wonder. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, he's saying, are those field boundaries fixed so you can't expand them with a plow? I wouldn't hardly think so. I've never seen that on a map before where you can't actually plow an area. Possible, though. Never know. Uh, let's see what's here. He was also saying, I found another version of Chippewa County on Facebook, and hopefully course play won't crash on this version of the map. Uh, yes, I, I, a reminder here, by the way, for those of you who do want this map, I do have it linked down below in the uh, description there. And yes, it is... I think my link was from Facebook. If not, it was originally from Facebook. So that is where this map came from. It did come from Facebook. It is, again, version 1.1. At least it's supposed to be, anyway. Which also reminds me, someone did say uh, Seasons Mod... Wait a minute. Why no plow? Uh, Seasons mod apparently doesn't work well with the breeding mod, which I do have that mod. Uh, so I might have to take that one out here. Uh, I got a couple of people left in the comments here saying that that uh, mod interferes or do just doesn't play nicely. So, yeah, we might have to keep an eye on that one. Like I said, I'm gonna, I do have that mod, so... Male Bone was saying that this map looks like someone screwed up all the puzzle pieces to make the fields. Uh, contour farming. At least around where I live, not very con. At least not this bad, anyway. Uh, this is more something I've seen in like the Wisconsin type farms. Again, for those of you who watch like how farms work, stuff like that. Uh, seems like they do a lot of that over there. A little more of a hilly uh, type terrain. Helps with uh, erosion and stuff like that, to my knowledge. But yes, definitely makes it a bit of a pain to farm, though, as well. Uh, let's see, Trent was saying you should get a grain cart. Okay, we'll have to see once if we can do that or not. Uh, again, I've pointed out many times before, everyone... Unless we can get course play to work with a grain cart, there's no point in having a grain cart. Uh, a grain cart just adds an extra level of complexity that we don't need, if we can help it, if you ask me. It just end up ta ends up taking more time. Which uh, probably, by the way, everyone, in real life is why you don't see real life farmers who are maybe, you know, if you just got like one, you know, there's like one or maybe two people that run the farm. That's why a lot of times they don't have grain carts because... Again, they realize in real life that it just adds to the uh, the work. Doesn't actually really help in any uh, sort of useful way. Now, if you got enough people, you know, to run trucks, combines, and grain carts, then yes, of course, it does make sense to keep that uh, combine rolling as much as possible. Okay, so yeah, that does that there, and I think this is the last section of the field. Like I said, everything. That we've plowed so far in in between here. I do want to make that into one field. And then, of course, this uh, this one section over here we've not plowed yet. 
That'll be kind of like the last uh, part of it. And then, of course, we got, uh, like, fields back here as well. We could even, like, plow that into one. Well, that one's not too bad, I guess. We'll see once. And then, yeah, like I said, this path here. If I can get the train painted to work, I was thinking, like, just paint it right along the, uh, the fence row there. And that keeps us away from the fence row, too. Uh, let's see, 13 Dixie Fire was saying Seasons is not out for console yet. All you uh, PC guys are guinea pigs for it. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you there, Dixie Fried. Uh, guinea pigs, or that, we just get to use it first. I was saying that way by the time it uh, gets ready for the console, it'll be mostly bug free. And then the console map makers have time to get their maps seasons ready if they choose. Uh, let's see, Mindy was saying a Case IH two-wheel drive 7210 or a 7250 and a Case IH 12 roll planter. I almost went, Mindy, I almost went with a Case planter. Uh, I think there's a Case version similar to the Kinsey. Almost went with that one, everyone, but I decided to go with the Kinsey. So, and I don't think we need any other planters here right at this point. We got two of each, so. But uh, we can possibly do like a Case 7210. That'd probably be a good uh, fit for the uh, map here. I think they're right right around, what, 150, 250 horsepower. So again, uh, depending on what size you get, if I remember correctly. So that's about right. Let's see, 7200 series. I think that's actually it right there. 7210, 155 horsepower. Yeah, that'd be like perfect. Throw some weights on that. There you go. Uh, oh, you said two-wheel drive. Hmm. I don't know if I have a two-wheel drive version. That would be cool, though. Got the four-wheel drive version. I don't know if there is a two-wheel drive version. Well, we can always get the four-wheel drive version, I guess. I said I don't know if there is a two-wheel drive, and if there is, I don't know if I have it. Mostly all smaller tractors there, yeah. Well, I'll, uh, I'll have to keep that in mind then. And or if you know of where I can get a two-wheel drive version of the 7200, like I said, maybe I do have it. I'll just have to look through my mods again, but uh, I pretty much have everything active on this map, so. Uh, Niles was saying, in terms of proper climate for this map, upper Midwest might be appropriate. Chippewa County is either eastern UP Michigan or southwestern Minnesota or northwestern Wisconsin. Ah, okay. Yeah, I wasn't actually sure. I never did take the time to look up where this map's kind of like based off of. Like I said, I am running the uh, Midwest Seasons Geo here, at least at the moment. And I don't think you want to uh, switch that once you've got it running here. I, I think you pretty much want to keep that Geo as far as I know. You can get uh, stuff can get messed up if you start switching geos around, and you know if you activate and deactivate seasons. Kind of want to keep that to a minimum if you can, or in fact, don't do it at all. Just once you start with seasons, stick with seasons. And if you're already starting on this map and you haven't started with seasons, probably you don't want to. Uh, again, when I started, everyone it did ask me if I wanted to reset the map. In this case, you know I hadn't really done anything on the map, so that was fine. I did have the option to not reset the map, and I don't know what that would have done. It probably would have been interesting, <laughs> very interesting. Anyway, everyone, look at the time here. It is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So, again, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.